So I come out today to look at my peach tree that's starting to bloom, hoping I can keep it from getting damaged in the freeze we're about to have. Although the weather is beautiful right now. And I found these guys. I had a few last year and I got them under control, but they're back. So I think these are called tent worms. And there's another small one right there. So today I'm going to war against these things because I don't want to lose any part of my tree to them. So I'm trying to decide on this one, I may cut that growth completely off, put it in a sealed bag, spray it with insecticide, <laughs> and seal it, because that way I can keep them from spreading, and I'll have to come out every day and check them to make sure that I didn't miss any. So I went ahead and cut both of those small branches off just below where the worms were. And now I'm gonna go check all of my trees and make sure that this is all there is. It's always something. So I came to check out my other fruit trees and this is a fruit cocktail tree. And I believe this part is plums. But this is much bigger cocoon, I guess you would call it. And there's they're already coming out of there. So I just sprayed it with insecticidal soap. And this is quite a bit of the branch. So I'm actually going to try and remove that cocoon as much as possible spray it thoroughly above and below and come back every day at least once a day and look to make sure I've got all of them. I don't know if you can see. Those are the guys that can really damage your trees. Well, Somebody likes the weeds. Smudge. Yeah, I know. It's a nice, cool spot, isn't it? You can be here with me, and you like doing that. I know. Today is Thursday the 7th of April and it is 
is absolutely a beautiful day right now. So I want to get as much done out here as I can. Because coming up probably this weekend, we're going to have some hard freezes again. Which means my fruit trees that are blooming probably won't have fruit again this year. That's part of living in Nevada. We have extremely unpredictable weather. But I love it. So take the good with the bad. Isn't that right, Smudge? Well, I got these two beds pretty much cleaned out. This stuff here still has to be that is up against the fence. But I got all of this mostly cleared.
And the one good thing about this, all these weeds, my goats are loving it. You hear them? Yeah, I'm taking your, I'm taking your picture, Carmel. They are thoroughly enjoying the weeds, which is good because I don't have to worry about trying to get rid of them. And they're having a wonderful snack. I'm hot and tired, so this has been watching me pull weeds. Thanks for watching. God bless.